all right we're getting started cleaning up and I got a little pak choy planted let me go let you take a look at that All right, ready to try and grow some more pak choy in this Florida heat. So you can see little tiny ones are sprouting here. But what we're going to do is clean up this bed and, and plant the whole thing with new sprouts. I don't know what this is. It's not even a pak choy. It's just a random seed that blew in here. Get rid of it. And these guys are all no good because they didn't get any nutrients. So this is how we clean it up. I'm literally doing this with one hand. I'm using the other hand for the camera. Pick out all the little leaves, clean it up a bit. Now you can put a piece of screen over this, to keep the leaves out, but I just didn't bother. This little guy's not going to make it. We'll get rid of him too. And just like that, it's all ready to sprinkle some more seeds on here. And pretty soon we'll have some fresh sprouts. Takes about 10 to 14 days to get to this point, which is like perfect for the pool noodle. When you pull them out, it doesn't disturb the roots any. And they're just about the right size to, to get them around that pool noodle. I planted all these out last night. And remember what we said? You know, you plant them one night. Make sure you come back because you can leave these for a month without messing with them. But come back out the next day. Just check them all. If any of them look like they're doing bad, just check that the roots are touching the water. That could be a problem or, you know, I might have just squeezed them a little too hard. So I've got a couple here. See those, I'll probably go ahead and replace those right there. That little guy right there, he's not going to make it. So that's why we leave the spare ones in the tank so we can come back the next day and just replace the ones that didn't make it overnight. But all in all, that's three or four of them out of about 60. Not too bad. This is the long one. It's about a eight foot downspout. Looks like pretty much all of these did all right. A little squirrel came on here and was pulled about three or four of them out trying to get to the water. But luckily he didn't hurt the plants and I just popped them back in. We got the storm coming, if you all watching the news. Um, this is all we're going to plant until after the weekend when the storm's gone. And then we'll plant out some more. So we've got about 70 of them right here. Which all look like they're doing pretty good. And we only used about half the sprouts that we had. So we're going to leave all these after the storm passes, plant some more. And then we'll sprinkle fresh seeds all in here. We'll leave these guys in here in case we need to transplant anymore. And now I'll sprinkle fresh seeds on this side. And there's the water coming in. Real simple setup. It's just as easy as can be. And basically this is how I keep everything growing in succession so that I always have fresh greens is that you keep them growing at different stages. We we'll have sprouts, we we'll have microgreens, and we'll have the baby greens. And it just keeps going over and over. This is just a cement tub from Home Depot. Got a little tank I found on the side of the road and a tiny aquarium pump pumps up about two feet constantly on and it just drips down the other side. I've got a hole drilled there and easy. This will be next week's video. Got Pak Choy growing in our little insulated bucket. Mm -hmm.
Catch y'all later. Lift and inspire. Keep on growing. Much love.